Jacob, before we finish, a couple of more topics and then we'll be done into backstage. Uh, the growth of AI has certainly affected the economy. We know that it's affected jobs. It's affected uh, some high paying jobs. It, it actually affected more high paying jobs than what they thought would be the, the blue collar jobs uh, so far. Uh, but one of the effects of it is, of course, Hollywood. Uh, script writers they've been on strike that hasn't missed a beat you know in terms of writers writing programs that hasn't missed a beat uh elon musk just came out with his own ai company it's called xai uh which is basically going to compete against uh, open ai and google and facebook and their AI, ai system they're gonna try to solve the problems of the universe or the secrets of the universe pardon me yeah and uh, so he wants to create this different ai that's not going to be political but in the process, it's going to uh, obviously take more jobs because AI keeps taking more jobs. Uh, comment on the two. Well, depending on which one you want to tackle first, the growth of AI and the job replacement that's going on. Okay. And then, and then well, the Hollywood thing. A lot of people are shaking. Contract lawyers are shaking. What is going to happen when you can have legal briefs and contracts written by AI? Yeah, okay. quickly. And then you have a software computer that'll prove legally, legally use AI to proofread it to make sure there's no mistakes. Hollywood is only the beginning. And mm. I don't care about them. They, they, so godless, I don't care about them. But it's only the beginning. It's going to affect multiple professions. It's going to affect national defense, certainly intelligence, on the deep state so called. Now, here is the thing you can take man made technology that will discover new knowledge. That would be an electron microscope or the Hubble telescope. Man-made technology that will actually discover new knowledge. AI has no capacity to do that. It only has the capacity to mimic that. Right. Somebody has to put that data in there somehow for something to come out of it. It's not discovering things previously unseen like an electron microscope or like the Hubble telescope. Whatever data comes out has to be based on what data goes in. Yeah, it has to exist prior. Now, it, in other words, it becomes the basis for the most colossal lie in human history. 